Hi, this is Hobie Sears with Probo Medical with another Hobie Sense. Today we're going to talk about DICOM setup on the Philips Epic and Affinity. So once you have all of your DICOM information ready and you're ready to dive into the unit, press support and we'll pick up from there. Okay, so now that we are in support, uh, we're going to slide over here to Network DICOM. And first we're going to go to Network Settings. So if your machine's already networked and on a network, <clears throat> then you won't need to come in here, obviously. And there's two types of connection to your network. There's wired and wireless. Um, this particular machine is set up right now on a wired network. Um, so if you wanted wireless, you would click this pull down and there would be a wireless option if you had that option. You could click that and enter the same similar, similar information. You'll also need your network key and all that kind of thing for wireless. Um, but that's pretty obvious once you get in there. So we're gonna go to TCP IP properties. Uh, already have an address entered for us. If you wanna use Dynamic, um, that's up to your facility and whether or not Dynamic's going to work with your particular PAX product. Go ahead and enter the IP address or click uh, Obtain Automatically for Dynamic and click OK. So that will give your system an IP address and you're on the network. Uh, we're gonna close this window now and we're gonna move over here to DICOM settings. Um, just real quick, we're gonna look at this particular unit. This unit already has an AE title, a port number, um, and you want to go ahead and enter those. If your unit has never been on a network before, it definitely needs an, a an AE title and a port number. Um, you can add a station name if you would like, uh, that's completely optional. So we're gonna come out of that and then we're gonna go back actually into DICOM settings um, and go down here to DICOM services. So this is where we're gonna actually add, um, in this case, we're gonna add a server, but if you're adding a work list, um, it's really the same process. It doesn't matter um, which type of device you're gonna enter. But that's what we're gonna start with first is the DICOM device type. So come up here and we're gonna click DICOM storage server, but you can see here there's work list server and uh, a few others. Um, we don't really see color printers or black and white printers being used anymore, so I would stay away from that. And rarely um, would anything called a storage commit server be used. So um, DICOM storage server is what you want most of the time. I'm gonna go ahead and enter the uh, system information now, and we will pop back right as soon as that is complete. Um, so let's just run through these real quick. Um, so we've got the device name, and this is what the device is just going to be commonly called. And, and with all PAX servers and hospitals and doctor's offices, the name does not, um, it, it can be a lot of different things. Like you can choose the name. Um, the next line, uh, the AE title, the AE title is not something you can choose. That is actually going to be defined by the PAX company, whoever that company is. They're going to have an AE title, and you're going to get that from the PAX company, you're gonna get it from your IT um, group. Um, uh, somebody like that. Um, next is the port number, and as well, same thing. Same thing as the AE title, that's gonna be given to you um, by the uh, PAX provider. Uh, the host name and IP address is, this is of uh, the server itself. This is not the machine. We've already entered the machine's IP address. This is for the server itself. Um, I have never had to alter any of these settings on an Epic. Um, I have in the past had to do that on some other units, but never on an Epic. So before we uh, go any further, we're gonna slide over to advanced settings though. And um, one thing we wanna do is come over here to structured reporting. And if you're going to use structured reporting, you want to click export structured reporting. Um, and, uh, and then there's another box here. It says export structured reporting with send on demand. I've only ever had to use that one time with one particular PAX product. So um, you may or may not need to use that, um, but you definitely want this export structured reporting box checks if you have structured reporting. I'm going to unselect it because I'm not sure the device we're using to send to right now has that and I don't wanna create any issues during the video. All right, so with that, we are gonna save and it's gonna process through. And one of the things that the Epic can do is can actually go out and verify while uh, it's saving or as it saves, it will go out and verify the connection. 
uh, with the server. So uh, we see here, we have our device in the lined up here. Now you can see there's an exclamation point. That's not bad. Um, it just means that some things passed and some things failed. And on the Epic, um, it tests a great many different DICOM protocols and no one server uses them all. So that's why you tend to get a lot of exclamation points. Um, if it failed everything, there would be nothing in this box. Um, it, would be, it would be blank and it, you would have a red X. So at this point, uh, this is ready to go. And that's how you enter a DICOM device on the Philips Epic. Hi, this is Hobie Sears, Director of Training Field Service for Provo Medical. We offer a variety of training classes throughout the year at our Tampa facility, all taught by Provo engineers who are the most experienced in the industry. Please check out our website at provomedical.com for classes and dates.